All right, right behind us here, right up the bow, this is the hooter. Uh, it refers to this buoy. It actually makes a hooting call. It rises and falls with the waves. And you can see there's a device in there. It's uh, so mariners can hear the buoy in the fog and know where it is. And it actually carries quite a distance out here. Um, but a lot of people wonder why this is, we call this spot the hooter. That's it right there. The big MC buoy makes a hooting sound. I got a couple of tricks up my sleeve. We're gonna go back to my back to my roots, the uh, hoagie soft plastics. You can get bass, blues, bonito, albies. Um, I've caught bluefin tuna here. Yeah. Uh, big fluke doing this in the same very outfit with these, um, you know, the, the soft baits, one big, one small. You really never know what you're gonna hook here. Yeah, it makes it fun when you uh, get that variety. Unlike the tubes, jigging with these soft baits is really effective. You know, with the two of the actions built into the fishing lure, the soft baits pretty much do whatever you tell it to do. So with these short snapping motions, that bait's really going to dance and dart and do yeah. its thing. And, uh, you know, really in part of, you know, special action. You can speed it up, you can slow Oop, it down. You just got a whack. There we go. Tight? Yeah. Nice. Oh, decent fish. Taking and my some drag line. sock cuts. Want me to back down? No, we're good. Yeah, these bonito swim at you so fast. You gotta be ready to crank down on this fish. Think that might be what you got there? I think so. Yeah, he's fast, whatever he is. He's zipping around back there. He's fast. He's not acting like a bluefish. We got ah, an Albi. Albi, nice. Yeah, you can tell by the line he ripped. We're off to a good start here. We've only been here about uh, five, ten minutes now, a couple bites. Now that's a real nice albie. That's a big fatty. Such cool fish. They're uh, small members of the tuna family, and they'll come into real shallow water. And, uh, you know, a real big one would be 12, 14 pounds. That one, I'm guessing, is going to be close to 10 pounds. That's a good fish. And uh, just real spirited fighters. They're uh, they're known for just tenacious runs, and you know they get they get close to the boat like that. They don't quit. And if you want to move up to the front, I can try to tail them, or you can try to swim. Ah, oh, it's broken me off. Ah, the agony of defeat. <laughs> The Black Dog Tavern and General Stores, established on Martha's Vineyard by sailing captain Robert Douglas and his famous Black Dog, but recognized worldwide for its fine dining, bakeries, and quality clothing and accessories for over 35 years. The largest saltwater fishing show in the Northeast, the New England Saltwater Fishing Show. March 8th through the 10th at the Rhode Island Convention Center. Meet the area's top anglers and charter captains. Get great deals on gear and boats. Attend free non-stop seminars. Admission is $10 and children under 12 are free. Sunday is family day and women are free. The New England Saltwater Fishing Show, March 8th through the 10th at the Rhode Island Convention Center. Proven reliability is part of every Yamaha outboard. So we're starting off 2013 with Yamaha's Proven Reliability Sales Event. For a limited time, purchase an eligible new Yamaha outboard and choose between three years of Yamaha limited warranty coverage along with an additional two-year Yamaha extended service plan at no extra cost. Or take up to $2,000 in Yamaha credit toward the purchase of goods and services. Either way, if you're looking to have more fun on the water in 2013, now's your chance. Visit your local Yamaha outboard dealer today. Today's show is brought to you by P-Line. For serious fish, you need maximum performance. Visit P-Line.com today. Well, it didn't take long. We made about a 20 minute run. We're out here at the Hooter. There's a steady mix of bass, bonito, bluefish, and albies. Uh, I've been trolling about five, 10 minutes, couple hits. Mike just had a beautiful false albacore. Uh, ended up breaking off at the side of the boat, bit of a heartbreaker, but um, it's always good to see fish like that right off the bat. And hopefully this will keep up and we'll get a couple in the boat. And 
There's a fish. That's a good hit. A lot of time with the uh, the false apple core, you get that one real big initial rush out of them, and they'll expend most of their energy on that first run. And I think that's kind of where this guy is now. He's yeah, he's, he's spent a lot of energy, but he's still a ways out there. I'm not even back to my lead core line yet. I don't know what it is about the hooters. The fish behave differently here. You can get a hit and swear you have a big albi and pull a big striper in. Yeah. You can swear you have a striper and pull an albi or a bonito in. And, and that's part of the charm to this particular spot is you just really don't know what you're gonna, what you're gonna find. But we're about to find out here any second now. And yes, yep. big fat albacore. Okay, so you can work really, up in front of you. Is that a big? Yeah. Nice job, Andy. Beautiful fish. Oh, nice job, you. You, you yeah. made the lures. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, like you were saying earlier, that's a 10 inch soft bait. This monster Albi had no problem grabbing it. And do you want to just pop that hook? Yep, I like to re there. release these fish very quickly. They don't do well out of water. Here we go. These are absolutely beautiful fish. Um, you can see they're totally built for speed. They have these little grooves right here, these fins. You know, they're just designed so that fin just tucks into that little groove there. The fin's off, it's like a torpedo. And beautiful and, uh, colors. Beautiful colors on them. Terrible eating. Worst eating fish you'll probably find around. But what they lack for in the table, they make up for when they fight. They're just tough as nails. Nice release. All right, this is the rig I just caught that nice false abacore on. This is a weighted swim bait hook. Um, this is the barbarian model, Mike likes to call it. Uh, it's one ounce and it's got a screw in bait keeper. So basically what we're gonna do, it's real simple to rig. It's just like a corkscrew for a wine bottle. We're gonna screw that right in. This will hold the head of the bait secure to the front of the jig. I'm just gonna take that. You get the little gap inside the hoagie original here. Line that inside. Just a little push forward to compensate for the bite on the hook. Slide it through and you're ready to go. You can rig it up in seconds. Gives a real nice action the bait underwater. Single hook is great, keeps it weedless, makes handling fish at the boat a lot easier. It's a uh, very well thought out, effective way of trolling soft plastics. You know, I always say the best part of fishing is getting that first strike. And uh, that's something you miss with trolling the lip swimming plugs. It, you know, it's basically, you don't feel the, the, the boat's hit. doing the work and you're just reeling in the fish. And, uh, you know, well, it's more fun to have this finesse style fishing can also make the difference on those real finicky days because it's a real hands-on approach. Sometimes they like it faster, sometimes they like it slow. Yeah. Well, that and the fact they're weedless too. And we just went by a nice yeah. little, and so if you bury that, the point of the hook, you know, in, in the, the, the shoulder of the soft bait, you, you know, I'm not saying you won't grab weeds here and there, but sure. your weed situation is highly diminished. Yep. On an incoming tide here, you can get the sargasso coming in from the Atlantic, and then an outgoing, you can get all the, uh, the various the types of weeds from, from Nantucket Town. So, you know, it can be a weedy spot here, and, and uh, you know, having that, you know, weedless rig soft bait can you know, put more hours of fishing on your boat just by virtue of not yeah, dragging, dragging weeds. weeds. Oh, Mike's tight again. That didn't take long. As fast as we can get the lines in the water here, we're hooking oh, up. Oh, that sounds promising. This fish took all kinds of line. You know, these funny fish, when I say funny fish, Benito or Albies, they can swim at you, so you gotta really be ready for that fish to come right down on you. And it's just so cool when they hit. When you're jigging, all of a sudden the rod, you go to do a jig and it jigs back on you. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty uh, remarkable too. These are the same exact rods and reels we were using earlier with the uh, tube and worm rig. Uh, and they lend themselves perfectly to fishing these larger soft plastic baits. They get them down just deep enough their subsurface and uh, really gets a lot of action on those soft plastics. Nice size Albi. Another nice Albi. Beautiful fish. Look at the colors on that. <laughs> 